What's going on YouTube? This is yours and Sensation here with another episode of Dark Souls 2 Mods Weekly. This is supposed to be weekly, however the first episode was a little bit fiddly on YouTube. So I thought it was deserving for the subscribers and the fans to upload another one. So I'll get the second episode, this one, up as quickly as possible for you guys to give you a little bit of a smoother episode and then we'll... Everything's now ironed out and nice and we'll keep it on a weekly basis unless I find some really awesome mods that are released. So, let's get started. Now, the first mod that I'm showcasing is called Clean UI. It is a very simple mod and all it does is basically makes all the boxes in the UI a little bit less intruding. So, when you get invaded, when you sort through your inventory, when you sit down at a bonfire, when messages pop up, when other, you know, helpful messages from players pop up, it makes it a little bit transparent, the box, and it's, it's, it's nice. It's one of those mods that you install, and you forget about it, and it's a little bit easier on the eyes, I think. I really enjoy the mod. And it's, it's nice and small and easy to install and everything, and it's just something that I, I prefer when I'm playing Dark Souls, so I hope you guys check it out. Now our next mod is a special mod, and uh, it's one of my favorite texture mods now. Especially if you're Legend of Zelda fan. I'm not a huge fan of the series, but I played a lot of the games, and there's still a few I need to play, but this one basically retextures a few armors um, and weapons to fit theme of Legend of Zelda. Now the mod author plans to make a update the more clothes and weapons and areas he finds to make them sort of Zelda themed. As for right now, it's a little bit fiddly on which which um, armors you have to match to make it fit the retextures that he has, but it's not too bad. So. For the green outfit, you're going to need the Faram armor and white Lydia hat. I recommend the full Faram set for this one. The red outfit, which is one of my personal favorites, is the King's armor, again the full King's armor, and Wanderer hat. For the black outfit, you're going to need Lelowin armor and black hood. And for the blue outfit, you're going to need black robe and thief mask. For master sworded weapons, you're going to need dragon rider twin blade, black knight greatsword, and ruler sword. Hyrule shields are Drangleic shield and royal kite shield. And Majora's mask shield is silver eagle kite shield. And Kokiri shield is the great leather shield, or large leather shield. Those are all the armors and um, weapons he's retextured and shields so far. Like I said, keep your eye on this because he, according to this, he plans to make more. And uh, it's it's really good. I really enjoy this mod a lot. The, the textures are really detailed. And even though it's a simple symbol on some of these and a recolor, it, it fits. It fits really nice. I think the armors that he's chosen and the shields that he's chosen are um, really good fit. And especially the red and black outfits. Those those are two of my favorite, and they look awesome. So I highly recommend this if you want a little bit of Zelda in your dark, dreary Dark Souls 2 adventure.
Now for the final mod of this week, or today, is an EMB called Calicoles Enhanced Graphics EMB. This came recommended to me by a subscriber in the comment section of a previous video. And according to the EMB author, he says he's trying to keep the brightness and colors like vanilla Dark Souls and then adding SSAO, bloom, and depth of field, just enhancing the graphics without doing anything crazy. And I agree. It does uh, basically what he's trying to achieve. It enhances everything that was a little bit bland about the original Dark Souls for, you know, PlayStation and PC, even though PC still looks miles better beyond the console, but it doesn't do anything too crazy by, you know, like Wickfoot EMB makes everything, like these dark tr contrasts and everything for the preset that I chose, which is still my personal favorite. This one sort of keeps the vanilla feel, but just makes everything look nicer and better and has that depth of field and makes the textures and everything look a lot nicer on your Dark Souls 2 adventure. I would recommend this if you don't want something that's too dark in your EMB and too too dramatic. But uh, again, I personally prefer Wickfoot, but I will show comparisons between vanilla, Wickfoot, and which is Dramatic 3 preset by the way, and this one. And you can decide for yourself. They're all very good EMBs. I thank you for recommending this, by the way. I really enjoy this one for a few of my playthroughs. And that's it for the episode 2 of Dark Souls 2 Mods Weekly. Uh, if you enjoyed any of the mods, please go to the links down below and endorse the author and leave a comment and tell them that you enjoyed it and liked it. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and comment down below on what you thought of the mods, if you enjoyed all of them, if you didn't enjoy all of them, what you think. And if you have any questions, please feel free, feel free sorry, to ask and leave it down below. And if you enjoyed my videos, please check out my channel. There's more Dark Souls 2 content on my channel, and mods, and PvP, and showcases, so please subscribe, and this has been yours in Sensation, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.